Hey guys, what's up? Kevin Williams here. I just wanted to bring this one to your attention, guys. Um, this is Laravel. We're going to be taking a look at that uh, pretty soon coming up on the channel. And if you guys don't know what Laravel is, it's basically an open source PHP framework and it's designed uh, for developing web applications and apps. And it makes it a little more streamlined, a little bit faster, um, has a lot of built in features, and you can get, um, you know, results really, really quickly right out of the box, which is amazing. And it has a wide community of developers that support this platform. You know, it's very popular. Okay, so what I'd like to bring to your attention is, um, so something around the release notes. So usually Laravel has uh, a bunch of versions and they're upgraded like kind of incrementally. But our last LTS was around, um, looks like, you know, September 3rd, 2019. So it's kind of a big thing coming up. The next LTS, which stands for long-term support version, um, and that is coming up February 8th. It was supposed to be like um, sometime around this week, I thought, or in January, but I think there was a few, um, you know, things and it got pushed back a little bit. But that's okay. We're happily waiting. And with the LTS version, the nice thing is um, it's not going away anytime soon. So if you start learning on this, you'll start to see that, you know, February 8th, 2022 uh, will take us to February 8th, uh, 2025. So it gives you a lot of long-term bug fixes and security fixes and the like. So um, I know a lot of you guys came from, you know, maybe Laravel 8 and that's still supported uh, good till June 26th, 2022 and ending around January uh, around this time next year. So um, if you are, uh, you know, interested in picking up Laravel, which we're going to do on the channel, kind of might have noticed that I sprinkled some things in there, like you will need to learn PHP. Um, it'll be kind of uh, a little bit tricky to get around this platform without learning PHP, without learning what MVC is, um, you know, databases and, and the like. So I've kind of, you know, littered uh, some videos around installing PHP, setting up MySQL, uh, Homebrew, uh, Composer. There's some things that we kind of just put in there that we're building up to this platform. So you'll see that we'll get prepared and we'll be ready to start this when it's released. Also, I just wanted to mention fear not for the guys who are in terminal learning that series. And there's a little bit more and we're going to wrap that one up shortly as well. But um, there is terminal work inside of Laravel. So you will have to uh, access a CLI or a terminal. So um, that work won't go in vain. Like you'll, you'll be able to use that. Um, what you'll be looking forward to is the next set of series coming up so around HTML. Uh, PHP, JavaScript, and CSS. So those will take a little bit longer to build up to this platform, but you're more than welcome to watch, check it out, see where we're going, uh, see where you what you could do and what's in the future. Um, this is what this video is basically about, but um, we will start looking into this technology and this framework um, and its complementary uh, things that we're going to learn uh, on this platform. So some of them will be like um, perhaps like the ecosystem that they have. So we'll take a look at things like you know Vapor Forge and Boyer Echo. Spark, Cashier, Valet, Lumen, you name it. Um, so prepare for that. All right, this will wrap it up for this one, guys. But just to note that there are some prerequisites before you kind of jump into this uh, these lessons and series, which I had mentioned before. Um, I'll just quickly do so again. You need some basic PHP, some database terminology, some HTML, uh, a little bit of markup with CSS and the like, uh, familiar with MVC. And, um, you know, we've kind of started, like I said, once again, we've installed Homebrew. MySQL, Composer, we're kind of building up to this stuff. Also, um, you're gonna need something or what's, you know, a web server, and we'll touch on that as well. I'm not sure if we're gonna do Apache or Nginx, preferably Nginx, but we'll get to that at later videos. Um, with that said, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, leave some comments below, um, let me know what your thoughts are, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.